This is Mayor Oliver Gilbert and we've gone virtual. While we're staying at home, remaining safe, I want to make sure that the activities that we enjoy together as a community could be brought to you online. Join me for healthy cooking and nutrition with Common Threads. Let's cook and stay healthy together. Bon appetit. Everybody. This is Chef Mimi from Common Threads. Uh, thank you for stopping by and checking out what we're cooking up today as part of the uh, City of Miami Gardens and Mount Mayor's uh, virtual experiences. Really excited to be here. Today we're going to be making um, a very simple and um, delicious uh, meal that can be easily prepared at home um, with your kids. So I'm going to show you guys how to get your kids involved into the kitchen um expose them to cooking and have them cook along with you and that way encouraging them to eat more fruits and vegetables and healthy meals um, that you guys can prepare together especially now during the pandemic it's a really good time to um, spend time with the family um, doing something uh, together in the kitchen and at the same time encouraging your kids and everybody to eat uh, healthier and um, help prevent, um, you know, or keep your immune system um, uh, healthy. All right, so today's recipes um, are two. Actually, we're gonna be making uh, guacamole, very simple. There's tons of variations to a guacamole, so you can um, improvise and do your own thing, but um, we'll go over the basics. And then we're gonna be making some quesadillas, um, you know, the uh, flour tortillas. In this case, we'll be using whole wheat flour tortillas and filling them with some, um, great ingredients, of course, also super versatile. Um, anything that you have at home, um, leftovers is a great way to uh, make a, a quesadilla your own way. Um, so uh, let's look at the um, ingredients today. I'm gonna move my camera downward so that you can see uh, the ingredients that I have here. Um, so I picked up a nice Florida avocado. It's super ripe. An easy way to know whether your avocado is ripe or not is just by um, squeezing it a little bit at the grocery store. And if it gives a little bit, uh, not too much, if it's too mushy, then it's overripe. But if it's just uh, giving a little bit, um, you, it's ready to go. Um, you definitely don't want it to be to feel very hard. Um, that's not right. Um, the guacamole is also going to have some lime juice. If you have lemon, that's fine too. We're going to be adding some tomato as well, um, some red onion, and then we're also going to add cilantro, which you guys know um, is a um, an herb used in a lot of um, Mexican cuisine. Um, it just brings a lot of vibrancy and uh, sort of like a lemony flavor um, to your food. So that's the guacamole. We'll season it with salt and pepper, and we'll add actually a little heat by adding some jalapeno to it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut everything up and how to make that um, uh, uh, cutting safe for your kids at home too. Um, besides uh, the guacamole then, we're gonna make quesadillas. For that, we're gonna be using some whole wheat flour tortillas. Whole wheat is always a great option to go with as opposed to just regular flour tortillas because the whole wheat kind has um, a part of the uh, grain that is called the bran and the germ. And those parts of the grain are really where all the nutrition lies in, um, in a whole grain. So anytime you get the chance to choose whole wheat over, um, you know, the white um, counterpart, um, I definitely recommend that. So we'll be using some uh, whole wheat tortillas. We are going to add some uh, roasted chicken. Um, so this is a store-bought roasted chicken. This is the chicken breast. I took the skin off to remove some of that um, unhealthy fat. And um, I just cut it up into pieces with my hands, something that, you know, your kids could definitely do for you. Um, if you don't have chicken, any sort of protein that you have at home, or you can make them a vegetarian quesadillas, that would work out really well too. Um, we're going to be dicing up some red bell pepper for the quesadillas. We're also going to add a little more of the red onion to them. Um, also some of the cilantro that I showed you before. And then we have two types of cheese. This is just a regular shredded cheddar cheese. And then also this is um, this queso fresco, which is a uh, Latin American slash Mexican type of cheese. It's pretty mild. 
It's very easy to crumble with your hands, um, and it just adds another level of texture and flavor to your quesadilla. So we're gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the part of the avocado that we eat, the meat. And um, I just uh, opened up the avocado by, and this is something that you don't want kids to do because it's not a very safe um, method for kids, and there is no safe way for kids to um, pit an avocado. So I, I definitely suggest that adults do this. So I just, I've already cut this one open, but I sh I'll show you what I did. I just um, inserted my knife, and since it's nice and ripe, this goes in very easily. You rotate the avocado while you slice right through it, and then you open it up. That pit that's in there, you can take it out easily with a knife. So you just sort of put your knife in there, turn it, and the pit comes right out. Um, I've seen some people actually break this pit down and eat it. I've never tried that myself, but I guess it's something that you could do if you wanted to. But um, for now, I'm just going to set this aside. And I'm only going to use half of this avocado since it's so humongous. Um, if you were using the Haas avocados, you know those are the, the smaller ones with a rougher skin. They're a little bit creamier. They're not as uh, high in water content as these are. Um, and they're really, really delicious for um, guacamole. But um, any avocado that is ripe is going to be great. So now with a spoon, since we're going to mash this with a fork, I'm not too worried about how I'm going to get this out of the skin. So I'm just going to scoop it out there and right into my bowl. Make sure that none of the peel stayed on there, and it didn't. And then you just want to go in with a fork. Again, great thing for your kids to work with you in the kitchen. Mash that avocado all up. If you guys saw the um, cooking demo last week, you learned about um, healthy fats. Or actually, that was a couple weeks ago. So avocados are full of that healthy fat that that is good to keep our unhealthy fat in check. Um, and as you might may know, um, you know we need fat in our diet. So um, choosing a healthy fat like avocado or eating salmon, which has the health, healthy fat as well, are great um, sources of that healthy fat. So you just mash this all up really well like that. And go ahead and squeeze some lime juice in it right away so that it, it um, avoids it from turning brown. So I'm going to go finish that uh, lime juice and just give it a quick stir. And now I'm going to add the other ingredients that come with the, for the um, guacamole. Um, so we said then that we were going to be adding some... Uh, red onion. So this red onion is just a piece that's left over from cooking I did earlier in the week. I had it in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to slice off a couple of slices um, to make, um, to dice this up and add to the guacamole. Um, the nice thing about onions is that they always, they're very handy. They already come in all of these layers. So cutting them up into little um, dices is really easy. So I'm just going to take these layers and dice them up. So we've done, we've talked about this before, but I always like to remind you guys when you're cutting and when you're using a knife and if you're involving your kids in the kitchen and you want to show them how to use a knife safely, you want to have them do what we call the bear claw. So here you're um, curling your fingers all the way under like this and holding that position while you hold down the fruit or the vegetable that you're cutting. And that way you're protecting your fingertips and you're also using this side of your finger to gauge how thick or thin your slices or your dices are going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead. You'll notice that my knife is not coming up from the board. It's just sliding back and forth. That's just um, a habit, I guess. And um, it makes it a little bit easier and not as um, tiresome on your arm or your wrist when you're doing a lot of cutting. Um, it's just an easier way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this onion to the salt, uh, guacamole to my mashed up avocado. And I'm gonna take some of these cilantro leaves. So I'm bunching them up. Because they're gonna be cut up anyway for the guacamole, it doesn't matter that we are sort of treating them a little bit rough here. Um, I'm bunching them up. I'm using that bear claw again, holding them down with the tips of my fingers. And I'm gonna just run my knife through there and cut up the cilantro a little bit smaller and I can even go further. And this is a really great way of getting your kids involved, doing what we call 
the rock and chop. So your knife is on the cutting board, the tip of your knife, and you're just sort of cutting back and forth, rocking and chopping as you go, cutting up that cilantro, which is so um, flavorful and smells amazing. So you just sort of run your knife through it a few times. If you're working with kids, you want to make sure that you can see their fingers up in the air like this. That way you know for sure that everything's good and they're being safe. And just scoop all of this up, add it into the bowl with the guacamole or the avocado. And we are going to add now the uh, some tomato. So we're adding some color here. We're also adding some extra vitamins and nutrients. Um, every color of the uh, of fruits and vegetables has a different sort of set of benefits, um, nutritional benefits. So the more color you have in a dish, uh, the more fruits and vegetables, a variety of color, the more nutrition you are adding to it. So if any opportunity you have to add more color, go for it. So I'm just going to slice up this tomato roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. None of these recipes have to be perfect. If you don't have tomato, no problem. Um, one, you know, you could add some other uh, vegetables. So there goes the tomato. And I'm gonna now just season it a little bit with some salt and pepper. And I'll show you what I've got in the, in the meantime. So that avocado's in there, the tomato, the cilantro, the cut up um, onion, you could add garlic to this. You could add some heat by adding some scotch bonnet or jalapeno if you like. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna taste this um, a little bit uh, when we're done with the uh, rest of the recipe and adjust the seasoning or maybe add a little more lime juice. But the longer it sits here, the better um, the flavors will combine and it'll just get really delicious. If you wanted to um, put this away in the refrigerator and enjoy it um, the next day, you would definitely want to um, uh, wrap it with plastic wrap. Make sure that the plastic wrap is touching the actual avocado, um, minimizing the amount of air that reaches the avocado and preventing it from getting brown. So that's a real good tip to remember. And... We're gonna move on with um, the ingredients for the quesadilla. So again, this is a really great like snack. It can be really healthy depending on what you decide to put in it. Um, and it's just a fun thing, kind of custom made. Everybody can put in their own sort of selection and variety of fillings. So kids get really into that and are really happy when they have some say about how their meal is gonna turn out. Um, okay, so for the quesadilla, um, first I'm going to cut up some of the ingredients and then I'm going to show you how to put it together and then we'll cook it up and um, it's one of those super easy, very fast um, dinners that you can whip up um, very quickly and have something really satisfying, delicious and um, with all that flavor. So the bell pepper. Let me start from a whole bell pepper. What I do here is I cut off the ends to create a nice flat surface. So I'm using that bear claw again. I'm cutting through the red pepper. And now I have a flat surface over here. I'm gonna turn it around and do the same thing. So if you're working with your kids in the kitchen, that's the part that you wanna do for them. Don't have them try to, you know, the older kids definitely can do that, but younger kids you wanna do this part for them so that they don't, um, you know, bell pepper is a little bit big and you don't want it rolling around and slipping and sliding and them having an accident. After you have it cut, you can put it on one of the flat ends and sort of cut away the, the outside part, the meat of the um, bell pepper. And it comes, this part can be discarded, of course. It's an easy way of cutting up a bell pepper. So... Now we have what we call um, the planks, and we're gonna dice them up, right? Because they're gonna be um, in the uh, quesadilla itself. So we're gonna make these smaller pieces. Just sub some of the planks. Always easier to cut a bell pepper from the inside out. So you'll notice I'm putting the skin of the bell pepper on the cutting board and cutting from the inside of the bell pepper out. That skin can be pretty tough. So unless you have a super uh, sharp knife, 
it'll be a little bit hard to cut through it. So this is just a trick to make that quicker. Cut up some pieces. Um, here, you're not going to worry too much about how they're cut and what they look like because they're going to be in that quesadilla anyway. Um, I'm also going to cut up some onion. So same red onion we used for the guacamole. We're going to use for the quesadilla itself. So here I like to cut my uh, onion up a little bit small just to make sure that it cooks through while we um, heat up the quesadilla. So I'm just going to do enough for one portion. Um, so we've got the uh, red bell pepper, the red onion. We have that chicken that was cut up from before um, and our different types of cheeses. And then the last thing that um, we're going to add to our quesadilla is some of those cilantro leaves. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes you buy cilantro or other herbs and you need a little bit for a recipe and then you have a bunch left over. So just find little ways that you can add cilantro, uh, those herbs to any recipe is always useful instead of throwing away, um, you know, herbs that have gone bad because they've sat around for too long. All right, cool. So we're ready to do some cooking. So I'm going to move this closer to you so that you can see what I'm doing here. So I don't know about you guys, but cooking for me is a very relaxing and therapeutic activity with everything that's going on in the world and in our country. Um, it's, you know, finding some time to do something that, that sort of brings you back and um, helps you to refocus and um, gain that energy back that you need to, um, you know, do your part in making some things uh, that we want to see changes and happen. Um, it's really important. So taking the time to cook for yourself, feeding yourself right, giving your body the fuel that it needs for the amount of energy it's going to need to, um, to, to work through so all of these things um, is really important. And, you know, coming together in the kitchen and talking with your kids about whether it's the food that you're eating or preparing or, you know, what's happening in the world, the kitchen is really a good place to, to focus on conversations with your family. So I just turned on my uh, non-stick pan. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit before I add my uh, tortilla. Um, and I'm also going to, I added up some oil to it. I'm going to use a paper towel to spread that oil around just to make sure that the tortilla gets um, a little bit coated with the oil. So I do this this way. You can um, um, assemble your tortillas beforehand and then put them in here. Or if you have everything cut up the way I do here, this should be pretty simple and quick. So I just go ahead and put it right there in the pan. And then I start adding my ingredients, just sort of... Um, Distribute them evenly around the tortilla. So that's the chicken. And we have our veggies here, adding lots of color and flavor and texture to the tortilla. Feeding our bodies with really healthy, fresh ingredients that are going to make us feel good and keep our minds and our bodies sharp. Um, all right, so I've added my veggies. And now, of course... Quesadillas are not a quesadilla without cheese. So we've got two types of cheeses here. This is the um, cheddar cheese and that queso fresco, which is a very sort of mild white cheese used in many Central American and South American countries. Um, so that's looking pretty amazing and pretty satisfying. And I'm just going to top it off with the second tortilla and let it cook on this side and flip it over. So flipping can be tricky because there's a lot of ingredients in there. So we're going to do our best and hope that it doesn't all fall out. <laughs> a good thing for that to use is you can either make half a tortilla. So you would just use one tortilla um, and then you know, uh, fold it in half, making that a lot smaller and then a lot more manageable for flipping. I happen to have a spatula that's nice and wide, so that would be another suggestion um, to use something like this. So 
so that flipping is not too difficult. Your heat you want to control, so because that tortilla is going to brown pretty quickly. Um, so you don't want it to brown too quickly and start to burn before your inside um, ingredients get a chance to heat up, melt, um, and get ready to be flipped. So while we wait for that, um, just wanted to remind you guys that uh, we are here every Thursday at 1 p.m. until further notice while we all remain virtual. Um, teaching you guys how to cook healthy meals with accessible ingredients um, and just stuff that you may even have in your pantry or in your refrigerator. For this recipe, again, you could um, combine um, ingredients and fillings that you already have. You don't have to come up with new, like, go out and buy or try to find the, the ingredients that are in the recipe that we're talking about today. Um, corn would be really delicious in this. Any kind of vegetable would be amazing in here. All right, so I'm ready to flip. I pushed my spatula all the way out under there, covering almost the entire tortilla, just to make sure that I have a lot of um, support there when I just flip it over. And you can see there that that tortilla got pretty toasty, which is nice. It's gonna give it a nice crunch. And I'm going to let that cook on this side for another minute or so, allowing that cheese to melt and that chicken to heat up. Um, and then we'll slice it up and serve it up with the guacamole. So in this one meal, you have everything. You have your whole grain with a whole wheat tortilla. We have a lean protein, which is the, um, uh, the chicken breast, the skinless chicken breast. Uh, you've got vegetables, a nice assortment of vegetables with uh, bell pepper. Um, any bell pepper you have at home is great. Um, tomatoes you can add to this. Uh, corn, whatever. Whatever you have at home is great. And then we're going to be combining it with that guacamole that we made. So there we have healthy fats. We have really delicious uh, more vegetables um, and super healthy very low on fat um, and very high on vitamins and all of the iron and and uh, on all the good stuff that fiber that our bodies need. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back away and we're gonna slice up this quesadilla. And serve it up. So let me grab a plate. This is a really cool snack, nice, easy snack to have as well. Like it can be a meal or a snack for after school or before, you know, in the middle of the afternoon. If you need something to sort of pull you over before it's time for dinner. So I like to just cut it in half and then I will go around and cut smaller pieces. I like to make them so that you can just pick them up with your hand. You don't have to eat this with a fork or knife. It makes clean up even easier and so we've got our quesadillas that are filled with um, the different ingredients that we added in there cheese is all totally melted and we're going to serve that up with some of that guacamole right next to it and that's it super easy really delicious super satisfying guacamole and quesadillas Hope you guys uh, like this recipe. Um, if you want to find it, it's on our uh, website. It's Common Bites with a Y, B Y T E S dot org. Um, you'll find recipes like this, uh, this one, and many, many others that are delicious. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody again next week. Take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's session. I did. Join us every Thursday at 1 p.m. on Facebook Live for healthy cooking and nutrition classes with Common Threads. If you want to view the session again, visit cmgengage.com backslash virtual. See you next week.